So, Happy New Year. This is my first video back for 2022. Uh, the truth is, for the last couple of weeks, um, I have been playing this. It is unbelievable. I love it. Uh, thoroughly enjoying it. But it keeps nagging at me that I'm not finished. Um, I didn't get the, the matrix in, the LED strips, uh, and I couldn't get the plunger working. So I've got to figure that out. Um, but so for the last couple of weeks, I've just been enjoying games and um, the buttons, the flippers work. There's some bits and pieces. So uh, the reality is I actually have to take out the TV to get all that stuff done. And I every time I come down here to do it, I'm like, oh, just play a quick game. And then, you know, an hour or two later, I've got nothing done, but I've had a really fun time. So I'm actually going to sort of carve out some time, take the TV out and finish up, hopefully, the LED matrix, the panels. Um, and I'll show you, show you something under underneath, which is kind of annoying, which I have to fix. So I'll show it to you. I'm under the cabinet. The damn strips came away from the adhesive on both sides. So they're just dangling there. And, you know, I used pretty... Clearly I didn't. The tape wasn't... I don't know why it didn't hold, but it just it came undone. So I'm not sure what to do whether to try and stick them back again. But obviously it needs attention and the way I stuck it up didn't work. So I just took the glass out. I, just, I want to show you what I did here. Um, there was a gap here. I actually just went to Walgreens Christmas Eve and bought some foam core. And I cut it and I just taped it in. You don't see the tape, obviously, because the, the lock bar is here. But it actually works really well. Uh, I know people can sometimes put use wood here. They'll put a decal or they'll paint it. Uh, even uh, printing directions. I've seen a couple of photos of directions how to use the machine. But the black, it hides all this you know the stuff in here but it worked really well and just sits I mean it's just taped so uh, I didn't even need to untape it but I might because I'll probably damage it so anyway friendly tip a couple of dollars for the board before I take the TV out I just wanted to show what I did here uh, this is my board I put it back in just for you know it's two mag. It's like a double magnet. Um, it seemed to hold it really well, but I need to position it. I need to mark it before I take the TV out. So, because I haven't screwed it in all the way. But oh, that looks amazing, even without the. That looks really good. So I've got to get the position, mark it in, and then screw it in for real. So you can see the magnets here. I just tighten these up. Uh, there's one on both sides. And then they've got the uh, metal plates here on the back. I understand that while the matrix is not on here, I won't have these holes to put a finger. So uh, I'm gonna figure out, I'm not too worried about how to take it out once the matrix is in here, but that locks in and holy moly, I tell you, it's perfect, almost. And I'll tell you what, I'll show you something. It's going to annoy me, but I'm not sure I'm going to do anything about it. But I'll just show you. But, but this is perfect. I'll apologize for the lighting. It's really quite, it's too dark down here and it doesn't make for a very good video. But I just want to show you something. You can see the gap here between the playing field and this matrix board. Uh, it's because the TV is on a, like a, a one degree incline because it's not perfectly flat when I mounted it to the board and it's a combination of whether the hinges aren't perfect or whether there's a slight slope. Uh, I could put a washer in there, but there's a gap there. I don't know if it's gonna bother me. Would that bother you? It means taking the TV off the playing field, putting extra washer on this side to build it up a little bit to close this gap. Uh, I did put some padding under here. I could put some more padding under here. I don't know. I was also thinking about how to take this off. I can actually just tilt this up and I can actually pry my finger into there. So I, removing this when the matrix is on is not going to be an issue. Um, so there's that gap. What do you think? Leave it or fix it? I'm getting ready to take the TV out, but before I do that, I just laid in the strips. 
Uh, I'm going to attach these with Velcro. Uh, the front's going to be covered by the board, so I'm not too worried about the wiring. But at the back here, I just want to show what I did. I actually cut out, you remember, so these slot in there. They look good. Probably the hole's a little bit too big, but it's all right. But uh, I don't know if I bring it back, how they disappear back there. Oh, man. It looks so flippin' professional. Well, for right now, they got to work. So I'm going to take the TV out and be super careful. I should say, the reason I took the TV out is because I want to clean it all up. When I got it home, I really threw it together. I changed out the amps um, just to get it working. And so I haven't been back in here. It's a bit of a mess. Uh, so I want to clean everything up. And then I want to wire in those strips. I've already done the wiring. I did that a long time ago, a couple weeks ago. So this is the wiring. So I've got to add the connectors. And I've got to start actually making that LED, LED board. So I'm going to be making connectors here. Tidying up all the wiring, and then uh, hopefully once it's in, I won't need to take the TV out again. That's the theory, unless anything goes wrong. So for the back strips, um, the data cable is going to be at the front, so don't worry about that yet. Um, but whenever you're working with LED strips, there's an arrow which tells you which is the start and which is the end. Um, all I'm doing, you can see different wires. I've actually got. I bought these, so these are going to plug in. I just need to run uh, 5 volts to here and, and negative or minus 5 volts to the to the white one. And I'm just using my terminal block. So I've got a red and a black coming to here. So I just need to join to here. So pretty easy. I'm actually going to be soldering in one of these clips. And I'll use heat shrink. Uh, and these I can just I can just tie off. You know, I don't need them. It's just if you're joining multiple strips together, so I don't need them. I can just ignore them and uh, focus on these two. So I went and got some lights. I couldn't see a damn thing. So I've got some, uh, like a little light there, three light, three lights. So uh, I'm well, I'm well illuminated now. So let's get back to it. So it originally had on had it on hyperlapse, but my phone ran out of juice, so um I'm just doing a quick check in. I really this is a really challenging I don't like what I'm doing is soldering wires together. So I've got like, you know, these clips can't sorry, you know, that that connect to the LED strips, and then these wires that connect to the power supplies. And so essentially, you know, you're joining this white wire to this black wire soldering it it's not easy and the light down here i got the lamp going but you know i'll do this in real time just so you can see because it's you know i just sort of wrap it around i don't know if there's like a proper technique um you know i wrap it around here i use these clips to hold it because it invariably comes undone and you sort of gotta hope that it, it sits there you know and it never does And, you know, so it doesn't take two minutes now. Grab the soldering line, then I'll lose the solder. No, I seriously lost the solder. Where's the solder? Oh, come on. Oh, here it is. Okay. And so you just push the soldering iron to heat up the wires without dislodging them. Again, not easy. And then when they've heated up, oh, see, you can see, oh, see, it's not. And then the heat will carry it through the wires. Join it up. So I don't enjoy this. It's tedious. 
I can't see and I'm bending over. So it's a pain in the ass really. Okay, and then as you can see, don't burn myself. I've got heat shrink here. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see that. So I pushed the, the heat shrink over the um, the joint. Don't do it too soon or else it sort of shrinks around while well, you push that down. Oh, good Lord. Okay, and then just melt that on, shrink it on, melt it on. And so this is, that's one, it took like, what, three, four minutes? And there's three, six, nine, you know, 15 of these guys that I have to do. And it's not easy and I don't like doing it. My neck sore, my back sore. It sounds like I'm bitching, because I am. I don't like doing it. Much, much more fun of playing the games. So that's one there. So I've got to do the green one. All right, I'm going to turn it off. You don't want to hear me complaining anymore, and I'll just finish up. So I finished the wiring. Uh, soldered all these different clips. This one. So I've got the the right strip, the left strip. And then the matrix at the back. I just put the main panel in. There's obviously two more on either side. The cool thing is when you turn it on, it runs a, a simple test. Um, before I plug it in though, uh, it only lights the first 144 LEDs. So don't be alarmed if uh, it doesn't all show up. So I'm gonna plug this in and it actually runs through the different colors, which is, it looks kind of cool. I mean, it looks amazing. Who are we kidding? So we've got red, green. I mean, it looks phenomenal. And the underneath is working those dangly strips but uh, holy moly this looks pretty unreal super fun it's gonna be super fun cool right 